let's drop in another grid. Love me good old grid. Uh, and this time I want to make the grid a 10 by 10 in its size. I'm going to go ahead and leave it as being 20 by 20 in terms of its rows and, col rows and columns. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to attach a null here. I'm going to scoot that way over here on the other side of creation. I'm going to turn that on to display so we can see it. I want the same thing, right? I'm going to leave this as a mesh for the moment. I'm going to swap it to be in the ZX plane. Um, let's actually, you know, while we're at it, I do want it to be a polygon instead. That is mighty fine. And now what I want to do is I want to insert a noise sop in here. Well, that's slick, right? I've got this like gloopity gloppity noisy kind of like interesting uh, mountainish low poly kind of situation, which feels pretty good to look at. That's really fun. Um, but what if I wanted something that wasn't necessarily kind of complete like this, right? What if I wanted something that had some holes in it in some way? It's kind of easy to imagine that we might want to build out some other kinds of topology or we want, might want to create a model that's got some sense of decay or deformation in it. Uh, and we can actually insert, so right to do that, what I did is I just right clicked on the wire, I picked insert here from the drop down menu. And I'm going to insert a clip, it's a clip sop. And this creates a kind of clipping plane that I can manipulate. Now, I don't want this to be animated at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off, although you certainly could leave it as animated. right? We might actually even come back here and make it a mesh. Well, that doesn't do anything. Let's turn it back to a polygon. What if instead we just insert it here and we convert it? So we could, instead of convert it to a polygon, we could convert it to a mesh. Now we can see that slow as all get out, right? That's not fast. So we probably wouldn't want to animate this. But it does give us some kind of interesting ideas about what we might do with that instead. Right, so let's come over here. Let's stop our animation. Let's add in an attribute create. Right, let's uh, compute the normals for that. And now we've got, ooh. This is kind of, uh, you know, it has that low poly feel, but it's also got a little bit more of a shaded kind of effect to it. That's really fun. Now we could take out this convert that's here in line, right? We get a different kind of aesthetic feel to this. That's a totally different kind of sensation. We could take out this attribute create. That's a different kind of look to it. We could go back to our grid. We could swap it back to being uh, a mesh. Well, there's nothing there. We've got to leave it as a polygon. Sure, sure thing. But again, this kind of gives us a, an, a peek into the various kinds of things that we could do. Now, with our clip, right, we could also control how much we're clipping. We can kind of take a peek here. We can see this plane as an indicator for us of what we're clipping. And we can see that what we're doing right now is we're keeping the primitives that are above the plane. Well, I could swip that, switch that, and I could keep the primitives that were below the plane instead. So now I'm kind of like scraping away and revealing the things that are underneath, right? So you can imagine a kind of 3D scan or like one of those cross-section kind of effects that you see. This is, you know, we could employ something like this uh, to kind of get at some of that. Or we could even create a kind of decayed sense of there's pieces that have been scraped off the top of something. That's pretty slick, that's, that's pretty fun, I like that a lot. There is, of course, as you might have guessed, still more to learn. So let's turn off our display flag there. Let's move down in our network here a little bit.